Okay, this is just a quick video to show you how to use the LR Instagram plugin for Lightroom. So, I'm assuming you've followed my uh, blog post on how to download and set the actual plugin up. And you can see we've got this plugin sat here. It is active. If I just double click on that, you can see it's all active. And uh, we've left it set to default. Uh, force padding to square is turned off padding border color white Instagram caption um, we've left it as a caption um, which will take the caption actually off the image itself uh, plus hashtags um, output sharpening um, sharpen for screen standard and watermark I've just got myself a little custom watermark which just basically has my name on it so we'll click cancel on there um, basically because it's already saved and I'm now going to stick three images up onto my Instagram page and um, my Instagram page is here so you can see the images that are already up there so now we'll go back to Lightroom and I'm going to select three images which I want to uh, put on Instagram and that's those three there and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag them over to the Instagram photos. Wait for it to turn blue and let go. Now if I go and click on it, here's the three images that I need to um, put up onto uh, my Instagram page. Now what we need to do is we need to add the hashtags. Hashtags are a bit of a mystery to me, so I'm just going on what I've generally been told um, are important hashtags to put on on Instagram um, correct me if I'm wrong and if anybody's got any ideas um, please um, leave a comment below or leave a comment on my blog but anyway we haven't got anywhere to put hashtags inside our metadata or our standard traditional metadata panel inside of Lightroom but if we come up to here where it says default we've now got this which we don't usually have, which is all plug-in metadata. And now, Bob's your uncle, I've already put the hashtags in for this particular shot here. And um, I want the same hashtags in. Eagle, Talons, Norway, awesome. Uh, <laughs> wildlife photography, bird photography, wildlife in pixels, and uh, Andy Asprey. Um, whether these should be spaced or hyphenated or have an underscore between them, I don't know. And uh, I can't really find out. But basically, if I just click on there and right click and go copy and then I come to this one because you see that's got no hashtags on it neither is that one so I come and click into the hashtags again and go paste and uh, there we go if I hit return because I'm applying it to more than one image I'll get apply to selected click OK and that's it basically the job is done and um, all I'm now going to do is go over and hit publish we don't need to um, select all of them because it, it just says here new photos to publish so we'll go ahead and click publish and I'll give you a tip as well um, you can't publish more than five photos to Instagram using this plugin in uh, one go so if you want to put 10 20 images on say you want to put 20 on it's gonna take you four goes to put them on Okay, that's how things stand at the minute anyway. Whether that's a plug-in thing or it's an actual um, Instagram thing, I don't know. But um, here we can see we've got one image left to go. And um, now they're all published. We'll just wait for it to finish. And there we go. And if I go over to my Instagram page and click refresh, with a bit of luck, there we go. Yeah. So it's made square images out of them as thumbnails, um, but there are the images uncropped, and there's just the little Me 3 custom watermark that I put on. Okay, so I hope that video is um, 
instructional for you and shows you how to use this uh, plugin. Um, the validity and u commercial usefulness of Instagram, hey, I don't know. But a lot of people are using it um, for more than <laughs> it seems it was originally designed for. And hey, if people who are making more money out of photography than me are using it, then I think I ought to too. Okie dokie. So the plugin's free. Go and download the plugin, install. I should say it's actually shareware, it's not freeware, it's shareware. So, what they would like you to do is, once you've used it for a bit, if you like it, go and give them a donation. Okie dokie. So, there you go. I'll see you soon. Bye.